Good morning, gentlemen. Jim Tracy, Land Use Council for Fed Hill Materials. I have three quick issues this morning. First is, uh, I would like to publicly congratulate Jeff Chu of the Peninsula Daily News for a 99% accurate story regarding the wall conveyor. The last time this happened, that is a 99% accurate story in the press, was four years ago, in which I complimented again Mr. Chu at that time. Uh, so the quality of, of, of journalism, journalistic coverage of issues is definitely improving. Secondly, I read with a great deal of alarm over the weekend in, in the local papers, uh, Reverend Sun, Seattle Times and Seattle PI, about the disproportionate, incredibly disproportionate cuts being proposed in the state budget affecting K-12 education, upper level education, uh, benefits to people on fixed incomes, and almost incidental attention to cuts in the growth of government that has occurred over the last four to eight years. As a, as a corporate board member of the Kitsap Mental Health Services, I know that our agency is looking at a 15% reduction in services next year that by the way, in an agency that's only serving about an estimated 70 to 75 percent of the need in our community. I'm sure the exact same situation exists in, in Jefferson County Mental Health. We've got to have a different kind of set of priorities for this budget reevaluation at local government and state government level, and I call upon you county commissioners to state your priorities to the governor and to restructure your budget in a way <coughs> that reduces or eliminates unnecessary or uh, programs that are a function of affluence and doesn't target the people who need the services most. Lastly, Commissioner Johnson, I didn't catch it last week, but I watched, uh, thank you, Joe D'Amico, I watched one of your performances on YouTube and heard you make the comment about uh, a big amount of money that's going to be available from the Puget Sound Partnership. Well, get ready, folks. The Puget Sound Partnership is a function of affluence. We need to take care of our people first and target the most cost-effective programs that are available uh, for funding by the government in a very serious way. There's not going to be anything like the money people thought there was going to be or there might be two years ago. If you're looking for money, you may very well want to instead target the federal government programs are going to be targeted at infrastructure development and be prepared and ready to tap into as much of that as you can to increase and enhance the local economy. Thank you very much.